Hey guys, welcome back to Orms TV. We're out here at the amazing Samola Hill Climb in Neisner with Sony, and we're gonna be taking a look at the Sony A93. So this isn't going to be a spec heavy in-depth review on this camera. This is going to be my impressions of the camera, having shot a couple of events with it and having shot with it quite extensively here at Simola. Now, just to cover some of the basic specs on this unit, this of course is a camera built for extreme speed. And what we have here is a brand new 24 megapixel sensor with a global shutter. And we'll get into what the global shutter means a little bit later on. But for now, what you need to know is that this camera is capable of shooting 120 full resolution raw files per second, every second in burst mode. And that's pretty insane. In addition to that, Sony has also made some substantial improvements on the IBIS of this camera. So the A93 now has an eight stop built in image stabilizer. And on the video side of things, you can shoot 4K, 422, 10 bit, internal at up to 120 frames per second. Now let's take a look at the body where for me personally, Sony has made some serious improvements as well. First off, and the first thing you notice is when you pick it up, the grip is physically deeper. And that's very nice for me because I have slightly bigger hands and this thing fits amazingly in my hand. The other thing that is an absolute game changer in Sony ergonomics is the positioning of this shutter button now. So as you can see, a much more angled unit over here, basically a 45 degree pitch. And that means that this is by far the most ergonomic Sony camera that I have ever held and ever shot with. Other things to look at here is that we have now inherited the screen from the A7R5. And this is probably my favorite screen at the moment because you have full articulation, but you also have a straight up tilting unit, which is very, very nice for shooting with. Another thing to note on here is that you have a 9.44 million dot EVF that comes straight off the Sony Alpha 1. And let me just put it out there. This is bar none the best EVF that I have ever used. It is so incredibly clear and makes framing incredible. In terms of memory cards, you still have the dual slots with both the SD and CF Express Type A. And of course you have Sony's FZ100 battery, so battery life is excellent as well. Now let's get to the headline feature here. The thing that makes this a truly unique proposition, the global shutter. So how it works in a regular sensor or the sensor employed by every other mirrorless camera on the market is that your pixels are read pixel for pixel, line by line across the sensor rolling down. And yes, that creates rolling shutter. So if you're panning a fast moving subject and you've got straight lines in the background, flagpoles, anything like that, they bend and distort. Now how it works on a global shutter is that every single pixel across the entire sensor is exposed and read off at the exact same time. So that means no more distortions, no rolling shutter. Lines in your background stay absolutely straight as you pan across them and fast moving objects stay optically correct. Now, the last thing I wanna to touch on in terms of the usability of this camera is the autofocus system. Right now in the market, picking my favorite autofocus system is quite tricky. What I will tell you though, is that this A93 uses Sony's AI autofocus system, which we first saw in the A7R5. And how this works is that you have a dedicated secondary processor within this camera that just does auto focusing and it works like a dream if you have this thing set to pick up cars within your frame it locks on it sticks it is a beautiful beautiful system to use if we're shooting down here we're shooting towards the pit lane there's stewards in front of the cars it skips that it ignores them it sticks to the vehicle and that's the same whether you're shooting wildlife birds insects planes, trains, whatever it is, this thing absolutely locks on and it stays there. And how I like to explain it to people is that this autofocus is like cheating. It is the easiest autofocus system on the market. And the way that it locks on and hangs onto your target 
Man, it's good. When all is said and done, what do I actually think about the Sony A93? Well, firstly, it should be said that this is by no means the perfect camera for everybody. Sony has made some key sacrifices in the pursuit of out-and-out -out speed. That 24 megapixel sensor delivers a resolution that for some will be lacking. The introduction of the global shutter limits the low light performance and dynamic range of the camera. And at the same time, the buffer depth isn't quite enough to take full advantage of the speed that this camera delivers. That being said, as a sheer technological achievement, this might very well be the most important camera of this generation. As a camera aimed at sport and wildlife photographers, it currently stands in a league of its own. That ability to shoot 120 full resolution images per second is absolutely astonishing. And if you need the ability to simply never, ever, ever miss a shot, this really is the camera for you.